The purpose of this short video is to describe the use of the gum elastic bougie or gum bougie in the orotracheal intubation attempt. It is best utilized when complete visualization of the vocal cords cannot be obtained. However, there are identifiable landmarks when you are looking in the posterior pharynx. The basic principle uses a plastic type device with an upward curve on the tip as shown here. The device is then fed into the posterior pharynx and tracks along the epiglottis and is inserted into the trachea. Once the device is inserted into the trachea, one can be assured of this in the trachea by feeling the clicking of the tracheal wings that occur as the tube is advanced. The technique utilizes a standard laryngoscope and standard positioning. You open the mouth, try and obtain a view with the laryngoscope. And once you identify some landmarks, pass the gum bougie down along the roof of the epiglottis and you will feel it begin clicking on the tracheal rings as it is inserted in the trachea. If you do not feel the clicking of these tracheal rings, you're likely in the esophagus. Once the bougie is advanced to the point where it stops, which will be resting upon the carina, begin the process of feeding the endotracheal tube down into the trachea using the gum bougie as a guide. To assist in this process, it is often helpful to use the laryngoscope blade to help keep the tongue out of the way, to ensure that the tube passes smoothly down the throat. Once the tube is down near the entrance of the trachea, you'll feel a natural stopping point. At this point, you can use the laryngoscope to clear the structures of the posterior pharynx and advance the tube fully down the trachea. Once the tube is in the trachea, you want to make sure that it's somewhere around the 21 or 22 centimeter position for the average adult. And then you'll remove the bougie, inflate the cuff of the endotracheal tube, and begin your confirmation techniques as you would with any other intubation.